second radio of the pack. It's Captain Peter C. Coke Jr. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the commanding officer of 2 Marine Expeditionary Force Information Group, Colonel Ian Fletcher, welcome to the change of command ceremony for 2nd Radio Battalion, in which Lieutenant Colonel Stephen J. Seclary will relinquish command to Lieutenant Colonel Jason E. Gwynn. Today's parade is being performed by the Marines of 2nd Radio Battalion. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for the blessings of this day and for all who are gathered here. We pray that you be with us at this change of command and that you inspire us with your wisdom that we may appreciate the sacred trust of Marine Corps leadership. Sergeant Major Antoine L. Bryce is delivering the colors to the commanding officer. From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Lieutenant Colonel Stephen J. Seclary, effective 3 July 2024. You will stand detached from your present duties. You will proceed and report to Marine Corps University, Marine Corps Training and Education Command, Quantico, Virginia. Signed, Eric M. Smith, General, Commandant of the Marine Corps. From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Lieutenant Colonel Jason E. Gwynn, effective 3 July 2024. You will assume the duties as Commanding Officer, 2nd Radio Battalion. Signed, Eric M. Smith, General, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, first and foremost, thank you all for being here. Uh, I can't think of a more beautiful and wonderful day to celebrate the end of Steve's successful command and the beginning of yours. So first and foremost, um, can I get a round of applause for both the Marines and the Marines? I have high expectations that as we drop the throttles forward and carry on for the next two years together, that you will see uh, you will see the fruits of your labor reflected in uh, this fine officer that is now joining the team. So my hat's off to both you, your families, and uh, you don't need to hear from me anymore. So I'm gonna hand the mic off to the man of the day, Lieutenant Colonel, former commander of 2nd Radio Battalion, Stephen Clark. I did want to highlight one uh, specific thing though, uh, and that is the band. Uh, we watched this performance before. Sergeant so Major and team have these guys uh, ripping on all cylinders. It's amazing to watch, but when the band comes in, it's just that much better. So if we could, one more uh, round of applause for the band.
And then the other thing to highlight, I know that the CEO said uh, man of the hour and he referred to myself. It's, it's really not the case. Uh, the, the men and women of the hour are sitting out in front of you. Uh, so I want to highlight a few of the accompl accomplishments that they had and then maybe a round of applause for them as well. And then lastly, uh, to my family uh, locally, um, Tom, Donna, uh, Betsy, Scott, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, flew all the way from Denver, flew all the way from Rochester, New York. Uh, thank you all for the continued support. Thank you for taking the kids. I couldn't imagine life uh, without you as we move all around this country uh, doing these crazy things. So thank you. Uh, and then to my parents, my parents are going through uh, some medical challenges right now that they're they're cresting the hill on, which is all good, but they're not able to make it. So I'm going to speak to the camera for a second. But uh, mom, dad, appreciate you uh, for, for everything you've, you've instilled in me, everything you set us up for, and all the support that we continue to receive from you. I know if things are getting better, and uh, we're looking forward to moving closer to you in the next uh, couple days. So with that, I'll hand it over to the commanding officer of 2nd Radio Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Jason Gwynn. Good morning, everybody. Uh, what a tremendous morning and a tremendous ceremony. Uh, Marines look great. You all look great also. I want to say first thanks to Sergeant Major Bryce, to the first sergeants, yes, the staff and COs who put this, this uh, ceremony together. Uh, tremendous job. Um, thank you very much, Ben. Good to see you. Um, to the second, to the Marines, the second rate of battalion. I'm humbled and grateful to stand in front of you today. I've met many of you over the last week. And I've been nothing but supremely impressed by your professionalism. The commander said, you're a consequential unit, one of the most consequential units in the armed forces today. You make a difference in the joint force in our nation's security. And I look forward to seeing what you're going to do with that legacy. Super Fidelis Marines. I also have five above average children. Thank you for being here. But most especially to my spouse, to my beautiful wife, Courtney, thank you for everything you've ever done. I appreciate your support every day. Thank you very much, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please stay as the colors pass the reviewing area. The music for today's parade is provided by the 2nd Marine Division Band. Second radio of the town is Captain Peter C. Coach Jr.